Anambra Governor Saludo to complete Uguaba Mbukobo Sea Road in 10 months. AIG Zone 13 Muri bows out of service after 32 years. First Republic Aviation Minister Mbazulika Amechi is dead. Greece launches rescue operations to find dozens of missing migrants. Before the news in details, there is a special message. Governor Chuko Masoludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Governor Choko Masoludo has assured the people of Obosi that the Ugwaba Ambuka Obosi Road will be completed and ready for use in 10 months' time. The Ugwaba Ambuka Obosi Road, which is 7.98 kilometers, is equally guaranteed to last for 20 years. A government house correspondent, GK Abana, who covered the flag of ceremony, now reports. Governor Soludo, while flagging off the road project, pointed out that in spite of the population strength of Udemli North, the area has not enjoyed good roads over the years, describing Obusi as the largest single ward in the entire country. He commended the people for their votes in the last election, charging them to also use their population size to vote for Abga in the forthcoming national election. The governor disclosed that Idemli North and Oka have a large number of appointees in his government, which includes the Commissioner for Works, Secretary to the State Government, three special advisors and many more. The governor stated that the contractor has been paid 50% upfront for the road construction and will receive the balance once the road project is handed over. <laughs> The Commissioner for Works, Engineer Ifanyo Koma, explained that the road is 7 point. 798 kilometers, which would be an easy access to Mbuka and the Wadi Road. Tabu Uzo, I am on the bus. All the 7.789 kilometers. Osiaba Banya Banya Mbuka, Timbuka Banya Wadi Road. In two places. Ebeni ne Uzo na Drumma. Everyone is so particular about this. The Transition Committee Chairman for Idemli North, Mr. Chuks Ibuhanwa said the people are happy and appreciate what the governor has done so far, including restoring security and providing road infrastructure all over the state. Ejike Abana, ABS News. The Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Zone 13, Uwo Mr. Umar Muri, has retired after 32 years of service to the nation. Mr. Muri served the Nigerian police in different capacities, including the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and is a member of the Nigeria Bar Association. Chibuzo Obidiki has details of that report. Officers and men of the force from the two state commands that make up Zone 13, Ubu, that is Anambra and Enugu, were on hand to bid farewell to him and testify his leadership excellence. The Anambra State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Echeng Echeng, described Mr. Muri as a professional security expert who placed high premium on the welfare of officers under his command. Mr. Echeng commended Mr. Muri for the vision, strategic engagement and leadership that he led to restore security of life and property to the zone, assuring him that the zone will continue to tap from his words of experience. We are here to send off one of our best in the name of A.I.G. Omar Musa Moro. He is an icon in the place and apart from this, the other symbolism is that history is made today. 
for the Enugu State Police Commissioner, Mr. Ahmed Amani, the entire Enugu State Command has also benefited from the positive leadership testimonies of Mr. Muri, contributing the President Police Officers' Wives Association, Power Anambra State Command, Mrs. Ikem Echeng, described the event as thanksgiving and reflection on his impact on the people and groups. You can hear from all the things that were said about you that in the police force, you have touched many lives, both your classmates, the people above you, and the people beneath. Everyone in this zone can testify to that. Also speaking, the chairman of the Police Community Relations Committee, Zone 13, Sir Charles Okeke, testified that the successes recorded by the Assistant Inspector General of Police, Zone 13, and appreciated him for his fatherly rule. Responding, Mr. Murray explained that going by his experiences in the job, he performed his functions within the ambit of the law and advocated a judicial sector reform in the country. Why to be together and then learn to appreciate yourself and then make that harmony amongst you. I know with harmony amongst you, there will be peace in the state. I appreciate Everyone here present because you really met my day. Presentation of gifts to the retiring Assistant Inspector General of Police by Alhambra and Enugu State's Command, Police Officers' Wives Association, among other groups, and a guard of honor mounted in his honor formed the high points of the event. From Ubo Chibuzo Bidike, ABS News. Thank you, Chibuzo. Now, in a bid to inculcate the attitude of hand washing and proper hygiene management among children. The Rotary Club of Waka Urban District 9142 and Rotary Club of Asaba Metropolitan District 9142 have donated a hand wash bait to Sunbeam Primary and Secondary School North Yanjikoka Council area. The project was initiated with the aim of achieving proper hygiene among the school children. Our correspondent, Blessing Uchendo, reports. Rotary Club is a non-governmental organization that focuses on reaching out to humanity and has its seven key projects in 2022-2023 Rotary Year to include disease prevention and treatment, basic education and literacy, community economic development, water, sanitation and hygiene, maternal and child care, as well as peace building and conflict prevention. Commissioning the project, which was situated at the school premises, to equally benefit the parishioners of St. Michael's and All Angels Parish, Novia, the president, Rotary Club of Asaba Metropolitan, Rotarian Ifoma Adejumo, and the president, Rotary Club of Oka Oban, Rotarian Reverend Sister Evans Mary Obi, said the project is an inter-district project and described hand washing as a preventive measure against diseases such as diarrhea and acute respiratory infections adding that they put the washing bay at the school so that students will always have the opportunity to keep their hands clean even as they urge them to take full ownership of the facility and rotary club of asaba metropolitan we are commissioning this washing bay in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. Amen. my advice to them is uh, at least let them advising children even if they urinate even if they go to toilet, even if after when they come for recreation, they should wash hands before ever they go inside the classroom. So that, and then why them doing it in school? It will not extend them in their individual families as well. So whenever they will be conscious of washing hands, as maybe Rotary have already said, we should watch hand though. Contributing the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administrative Chukwe Mekod Mego Juku University and also the Treasurer Lottery Club of Oka Oban, Professor Osita Chiaganam, said parents, especially mothers, should inculcate proper hygiene practices in their children as part of efforts to ensure a healthy lifestyle. The aim is to is to create that awareness of, of um, cleanliness, personal hygiene. And we know that in school, children normally play a lot. They normally get their hands. This is a way of making sure that they clean their hands. And you know, through the hands, you can introduce a lot of bacteria, a lot of um, germ, virus into your, into your body.
Welcoming the group, the Archdeacon Nofi Archdeaconry, Venerable Ifanyume, commended Rotary for its humanitarian activities in the society and thank God for making the project a reality and Rotary Club for being the instrument through which it was actualized. Responding, the principal and headmistress of the schools, Mr. Ifanyu Obuchimalo and Mrs. Ogochukuchuku Kezie, promised to make sure that their students and pupils make judicious use of the facility. Other delegations in attendance include past assistant governor Chinedu Osadebe, Rotarian Ugochukunweze, Rotarian Kinsley Okeke, and Rotarian Neka Ilochi, among others. The event climbs with demonstrative hand washing by the group and students of the benefiting school. Blessing Uchendo, ABS News. To mitigate the untold hardship on flood victims in Anambra State, the Umweri American Heritage Foundation has provided succor to five holding centers and a community children's home in Anambra East local government area. The foundation donated the internally displaced persons camp and orphanage home, food items and relief materials worth over a million naira. A correspondent Emmanuel Chibata was there and takes this story from here. The items distributed include bags of rice, beans, noodles, toiletries, drugs, custards, detergents, gari, and other assorted goods. While the five holding camps are situated at CDC Udabo Umweri, Unity Hall Neyu Umweri, Umoba Anam Unity School, Umundeze Ezi Agulo Aguleri, Father Joseph Aguleri, and Community Children's Home Utwasha. Speaking after the end of the month's meeting of Umweri, the President General of the community, Chief Johnny Mejier, said the intervention from Ndi Umweri in diaspora was a step in the right direction that others should emulate in order to cushion the effects leveled against them by flood. While expressing gratitude to Ndi Umweri in diaspora and an anonymous person who supported with one million naira, Chief Mejier noted that such attitude showed that they have not forgotten the people living at home as according to him such succor has never been done anywhere in the state while praying God to replenish their pockets abundantly. The President General who used the occasion to present his quarterly accounts and achievements for the past 200 days called on the international communities and investors to invest in the community saying that Umweri is a secured and safe place to make investments. Umweri is on point and we're on course. Umweri is the next destination. We have everything here. The people are very nice. Their hospitality, they are very kind. <laughs> Investors should come. Umweri is safe. We have the best security in Anambra State. And the people are friendly. So I'm inviting all the world investors all over the world. Anywhere you want to site your business or you want to live, come to Umweri. Well, you are welcome. Speaking at various points of distribution, the Umweri National Youth President, both at home and abroad, Mr. Uchechuku Ibrahim, thanked the community's monarch, Igwe Beneth Emeka, and the President General, who through their efforts saw to the reality of the intervention, adding that it has been assigned to ensure efficient distribution of the materials to IDP camps in Anambra East Council area. <laughs> If I ask on Atrania, I need to Lania, yeah, I need to Lania and Kuku, Makul Navaya, Makanavana, a million million. If all these millions of Naira can spend never, go to Mogu, age when an attendee, never open a road rover, and they are not road retreat ever. Only there, Aqua dear, Lindley Ditch, Majima Rice, and Beans, and Aqua, Mancha, age as Aqua. In appreciation, the camp managers of CDC Udabo Umweri, Mrs. Ngozi Udozo, her Umwaba Anam counterpart, Mr. Chukunonso Anizo, and the director of Community Children's Home Utwasha, Dr. Amushe Ofojebe, expressed their gratitude to the benefactors and prayed God to reward them abundantly, even as they called for more support from other individuals. We said we have, we need help, we need their help, so that these people, when they, can, when they went back to their various places, they can, they can start their life with, with, the, with their help. Because those people, they, they are like, it's like that, they are hopeless. Somebody that is placed by flood, 
some, somebody that his, his or her, her house submerged by the flood, you just displaced out of the house. So they need help, financial help, food, and simple materials. Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. Anambra State Association of Town Union, Siasato, has pledged to donate farm inputs and other materials for healthy living to flood displaced persons as soon as the flood recedes. The association made a commitment through their national president, Barrister Titus Abudo, during their visit to internally displaced persons camps at Nei Mueri Camp for the Joseph Memorial High School Camp. Aguleri, uh, all in Anambra East Local Council, and Bishop Crowder Memorial, Memorial Primary School, Onicha. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye has details. They donated relief materials such as bags of rice, gari, two bags of yam, noodles, biscuits, toiletries, and many more to ensure that those at the camp experience better living, especially during these trying times. Presenting the items, Barrister Abudo said the condition of the displaced persons calls for concern as there are mainly aged men, pregnant women, nursing mothers, children, and elderly women who are prone to illnesses, stating that the materials brought would help to cushion some of the effects of the flood menace. Barista Abudo disclosed that the association also presented a shake of 2 million naira to the Anambra state government as well as embarked on visiting all the designated resettlement camps in the state. He commended Governor Chukuma Soludo for responding swiftly by providing accommodation, food and medical care for people displaced by the ravaging flood across the state and thanked the camp administrators for ensuring smooth functioning of the camp in order to give the people temporary comfort. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. I will not be able to get out of here. On his part, the President General of Umweri Community, Chief Johnny Meche, who lamented the trauma and challenges women and children were passing through as a result of the flood, urged the National Emergency Management Agency and the State Emergency Management Agency, respectively, to come to their aid. They've lost everything. Where are they going to start? The water has taken over everything. They are farm their house, their schools, everything they have. It's not their fault they came at this situation. So I'm, I'm expecting, I'm calling everybody, Anambra, Igbo, Hausa, wherever, to join me. Let's help our brothers. Earlier at the two holding centers, the camp administrators, Mr. Judge Chinwuba and Mr. Chuka, was respectively commended the association for the concern and care shown them, praying for God's protection and guidance upon the state governor. <laughs> Also speaking, the Vice President General of the Association, Professor Charles Mwadigwe, says that the flood has affected about four local government areas in the state, adding that over 20,000 families were also far displaced, advocating dredging of River Niger and construction of drainages. Other members of the association were also in attendance during the visit. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. Anambra State Governor Chuko Masoludo has expressed sadness over the death of Elder Statesman and Nigeria's First Republic Aviation Minister Chief Mbazoleke Amechi, who died at 93 years of age. Chief Mbazoleke Amechi died at the early hours of Tuesday, November 1, 2022. This is contained in a press release signed by the Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Christian Aburime. Governor Saludo described the late Amechi as an outstanding patriot and nationalist who served the nation diligently. According to the governor, the late elder statesman lived an impactful and exemplary life worthy of commendation. 
Governor Saludo recalled that he was a renowned nationalist and active and staunch voice in the Zekis uh, movement, as well as an accomplished elder statesman. The governor further stated that the death of Mbazilike Amechi was not just a loss to his community Opo, in Newe South local government area in Tuanambra State, but also a monumental loss to Ndibo and the Nigerian nation. The governor, therefore, on behalf of the government and people of Anambra State, commiserates with the Mbazolike family over the irreparable loss. Now, Greek authorities have launched two rescue operations to find dozens of missing migrants in the uh, Aegean Sea. A major search is underway near the islands of Avia and Andros after a migrant boat from Turkey sank in stormy weather overnight. The Greek Coast Guard said that nine people had been found on an uninhabited rocky islet in the Kafiri Strait between the two islands. The survivors have told authorities there had been around 68 people had been on board the boat when it set sail from Izmir on the Turkish coast. On Sports News, a host of Manchester United supporters have urged the club to sign Nigeria international Victor Osime in January when the winter transfer window opens. The Nigerians stole the show on Saturday as his hat trick helped Napoli trounce Sosul 4-0 and maintain their grip on top sport in Serie A. Osime has now bagged seven goals in eight league games this season to continue his rich vein of form. And that's just about it. But remember, you can follow news on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television Oka. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Oka. Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And the main news again. Anambra Governor Soludo is to complete to Guabambuka Obosi Road in 10 months. AIG's on 13 Mori has bowed out of service after 32 years. First Republic Aviation Minister Mbazoliki Amechi has died. Greece has launched rescue operations to find dozens of missing migrants. And the special message again, Governor Chukoma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's the news. We thank you so much for watching. My name is Nonya Mokoye. Good morning. <laughs>